Welcome to the 12th annual Black Women's Wellness Virtual Summit. I'm excited to be here. So um, I, I, I love what Lisa Payton is doing. So this is wonderful. So I want to welcome you to the morning meditations. And hopefully this will help you kind of get energy for the rest of this beautiful summit. I kind of got sneaks and peeks of it yesterday um, while I was at work. So every time I got a break, I tried to log on and, and catch some, some inspiration and catch some wisdom. And every time I did, it was, it was just phenomenal. So I'm so excited about the rest of this day. And I'm, I'm trusting that you all will, um, will kind of uh, relax and, and um, get a good stretch this morning. So my theme is fall, but it's also moving into the same theme of thriving in a new world. Because in order to move in this new and renew ourselves. So for the fall season, it's about letting go and making room for the new. So the exercises that I'm going to be doing this morning will be uh, focusing on those organs that are connected to the fall season. So the lungs, the large intestines, and all of those things that are in between. Because so I had my little cheat sheet, so I wouldn't forget anything. Um, so I just want to welcome you and thank you for joining me. So we're going to start off with a couple of breathing exercises. And like I said, we're focusing on releasing the old, the old air out of the system. So we're going to kind of rejuvenate our lungs, activate our lungs, and be able to, or you can do your arm position, or you can place your hands underneath your knees, which, whichever is comfortable for you. And I want to say to you, listen to your bodies. Don't do anything that hurts. I'm going to try to be very basic today so that everybody can get a fullness no matter what your experiences is with yoga or stretching. But listen to your bodies and just try to just kind of move with the flow. Breathing, remember to breathe in and breathing out and moving through the flow of the breath. So let's begin by breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Let's breathe in. Next, hell out. Let's begin by The neck rolls, so lean chin to the heavens. Exhale, chin to chest. Now let's reverse, go to the other side. Inhale. And exhale out. And I realized I didn't say my name. I'm Dr. Tracy. Inhaling in. And my company's names are Essences of Wellness, as you exhale out, Essences of Wellness, Authentic Transformation, inhale in, and exhale out. Nice. And the other company's name is Emotions in Motion. So we're just going to tilt the head to the side, to your right side, taking your right hand and resting it on the side. Left hand, lifting up from your torso, inhaling in, and just gently leaning over to the side. Exhaling out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, and over to the other side. Nice. Inhale, come up. And come to center. Exhaling out, 
Bring those arms up, breathing in, and bring those hands to heart center. Inhale in and reaching forward, fingertips reaching forward, and exhale and lean into it. Just to open up your hip flexors a little bit. And let's just gently roll up. Let's do a quick fire breath before we lay on our backs. So the fire breath, you're going to breathe in through your nose five times, and then you're going to exhale out like that. So I'm going to use my fingers to count the inhale. So you're going to breathe in through your nose, and you're going to exhale out. Okay, so we're going to do three sets of that, and then we're going to move forward. So let's breathe in. Exhale out. Again, breathe in. Exhale out. You should feel it in your abdominals. Breathe in again. Exhale out. So this kind of opens up everything. It gets the toxins releasing. It gets the blood flowing. And it sets you up to start the cleansing breath. So let's lie on our backs. And you want to open your legs so that they are a little bit past shoulder length, probably the edge of your mat. And you want to place your hands, right hand and then left hand on your abdominals. And this time when you breathe in, you're going to breathe in, hold, push the air out through your mouth, and then break. So let's breathe in, hold, open your mouth, and push the air out. <sighs> Breathe in, filling up your abdominals with air, hold, open your mouth, and push the air out. <sighs> Breathing in. Nice, full, deep breath in, hold, open your mouth, and push the air out. <sighs> Let's do one more. Breathing in, filling up your abdominals with air, open your mouth, and push the air out. <sighs> Cleansing breath are so important especially when you're sending attention to places that are stressed or have tension, even places where there is dis-ease. And so you want to imagine every time you're breathing in and exhaling out, you're sending the breath to a place that you need attention to. So let's take one more full breath in. And this time visualize a place that may still be tight, or a place that may have tension, or just a place that may have a little, little pain, and just exhale out through the mouth, and send that air, the breath through that place. Now you're going to place the hands to your side. Palms are going to flip over. There you go. Inhale in. As you exhale out, you're going to lift up your head and your shoulders and place your arms above your thighs. Inhale and slowly come up. Bringing the legs together, flexing the feet, raising the arms. And exhale to the kitchen and just lean into it. This starts to stimulate your nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system. And so just breathing in and breathing out. 
Nice full deep breaths in. Exhale now. Now we're going to take a deep breath in. Take those arms up. And exhale out. And bring those arms down. Nice. So let's scoot back down. And if you have any back problems, you can always bend your knees. We want to make sure that your lower back is pressed into the mat. And so I'm going to leave my knees up for those who need to have this version. And we're just going to take a deep breath in and exhale out, making a T with your arms, palms are up. And just bring those knees to your chest. I'm just going to give ourselves a nice gentle hug and just rock from side to side. Just sending energy to the lower spine. Out. Now bring that hand back. Take a deep breath in. Open your right arm and exhale out. And this time as you inhale, you're going to take that right leg over to your left side and you're going to send your focus to your right hand. So let's breathe in. Exhale and just let it fall, keeping the shoulders on the mat and looking over your right palms. Just relax, you should feel a stretch here. And if you need some more stretch, you can always straighten this right leg on top and get a deeper stretch in your lower spine. This is a supine twist. Nice, my back just popped, so that's good. <laughs> and let's breathe in and bring that knee back up. Exhaling out and switch legs. Bring that left knee up. Nice. And just hug it a little bit. Give it some love. Now you're going to open your left arm. Nice. Breathing in. Exhale and send that left leg to your right side. And looking over at your left hand. Exhaling out and just let it relax. You see, there's no particular form, it's just a stretch. And give me a nice inhale in through the nose and bring the knee back to center and give it a nice hug again. And let's just relax. Crossing those legs and sit up. And we're going to come to our knees. So sitting up and bring those legs behind you. And for those who are know some a little bit about yoga, we're going to do the cat and cow. This stimulates your large intestines. And you're going to breathe in and scoop the body up. And as you exhale out, you're going to arch the back and send your chin up to the heavens. Breathing in, and your hands are shoulder length apart, and your knees are hip length apart. Exhale out. So breathing in. And exhale out. Send the chin up to the heavens. Now we're going to do a sphinx, taking you a little bit back to Egypt. You're going to place those elbows in front of your knees. 
and hands, palms down, and you're just going to look up. And this is called the Sphinx. Taking a deep breath in and slow. Hands forward. I just let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Now let's gently walk the hands over to your right side, getting a nice twist. We're going to be doing a lot of twists so that we get that supine twisting, that spine activated. And just take a deep breath in. And exhale it out. Inhale in and walk the hands to your left side, getting a stretch. And give me a nice deep breath in and exhaling out. Gently walking the hands back to center. And let's do another stretch in child's pose. Bringing the elbows back to your knees in sphinx position and looking up. You should feel that stretch here. And let's come up on your knees. Hands, shoulder lift apart. Knees, hip lift apart. Curling those toes under and lifting up. This is called downward dog, face downward facing dog or the pyramid. And that stretching, that back, pushing into the palms, stretching back to the heels. Let's take a couple of deep breaths in. And exhale out. And if you need to adjust your hands, that's fine. And let's go up on the toes a little bit. There you go. And let's come down. And let's just gently bend those knees. Loosening up your hips. Nice. And let's come back on our toes. And come down on those knees. And we're going to do a cobra. I call it crown, chin, and chest. And we're going to go all the way down, starting with the crown, the chin, and your chest. And bring it all the way up to a nice cobra. Ah, oh, exhale it out. Now come back down. Curl those toes under again. And lift up. Back into your pyramid. Or your downward. Dog. Now gently come up on your toes and walk those toes towards your wrists as close as you can, relaxing those knees. And let's just rest here for a moment, taking a couple of deep breaths in, exhaling out, relaxing the head. Then bring those arms up towards the heavens and clasp the clasp and let's just let it come stretching out your bell towards your cutaneous muscles getting a nice stretch and just releasing and letting go of tension and stress that may be in your neck your arms let's take another deep breath in and bring those arms down Place them in prayer position. Let the tips of your fingers touch your mat. Relax in those knees. Take 
breathing in and exhale out. One more time, breathe in. And we're gonna take it all the way up to the heavens. Starburst out, exhale with sound. Ah. And let's bring hand back to heart center. We're almost out of time. This went by really, really quick. So let's just end with an affirmation for the fall season and connecting with um, thriving the new world. So the affirmation for fall is I open my heart, loving myself, honoring myself, and removing myself from unwanted experiences. And this is the movement placing your right hand over your heart and then your left. And you can repeat after me if you like. You can say it to yourself. But this is the affirmation again. I open my heart. Loving myself. Honoring myself. And releasing myself from unwanted experiences. I am loved. And I thank you for joining me this morning. But I trust that you had something to inspire you and to give you energy for the rest of the day. And hope to see you at some of the some of the summits. Have a great day. And hotep, which means peace and blessings to you. Thank you.